example of our notes all combined together for database management systems, relational database design by ER to relational mapping. Previously, we've talked about strong entities, one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many relationship, one-to-n recursive relationships, and then one-to-n or many-to-many -many relationships. And now we're going to put this all together with our weak entity multivalues for this example right here. For this example, we're going to first start off with our employee. Notice our employee, even though it's pretty small, we have first name, middle initial, and last name. So those are going to be inside of our attributes. So we have our, at, our entity, and then we have our attributes afterwards. We have sex, address, and salary. These are from right here. We have our social security number, which is going to be underlined because it's a key. We have our birth date as well, and that is right here. And then we have a recursive relationship. And for a recursive relationship, we're going to look at the recursive part. Now, this recursive part is going to have a one-to-many. And if we have a one-to-many, we are going to want to put the many right here. But this many has to associate with their employee. So notice how we have the supervisor and the supervisee right here. We're going to want the super SSN. So we're going to take the social security number of the supervisee SSN, or the supervisor SSN. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter for this example, um, but it might in the notes if we scroll up. We can see that we have an example just like this where we take the super SSN. So I'm guessing it, was, it would be talking about the supervisor. The entity includes the primary key of itself as a foreign key to represent the recursion. Um, so based just on this text, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, we're just going to want to take the supervisor SSN for this one, and it's going to relate back to our employee SSN. And then we have the department number. So we are super SSN going to SSN. Now our department number is going to go to our number. And this is for the department. Inside of our department, we have number underlined, and this is because it's the key, and then the rest are attributes. So we can close off this parenthesis as well. It's a good idea, and this one as well. We have our manager SSN as the foreign key. The manager SSN is going to be a part of this managers right here. We have a one-to-one -one relationship. Because of the total participation, we are going to relate this manages with the department. So that's why our start date, which is associated with manages, that's the attribute of manages, goes to department. And then the manager SSN is going to be the foreign key and this foreign key is going to relate back to our SSN. So that's how that's going to look like. Next we have our department locations. And the reason why our locations is totally separate is because it's a multi-value attribute. So we are going to have the department number, we are going to have the location and manages. If we look at this, we are going to have to have um, an attribute associated with this. That's why the department number is associated with the key and then we have the location because um, that's just the location of the place that's the second attribute of it and then we have manages right here so if we wanted to we could actually look up to multi-value attributes we want to create a new relation for a multi-value attributes a and b a and e and then r includes an attribute corresponding to a and the primary key e as the foreign key so that's how we include both of them we have our locations and we have the department number and that's going to carry on right here. We then have our project. In our project, we have the name, number, location. Only one can be a key, so we'll just choose number as the location right here. The department number um, is going to be different than the actual uh, number. It's going to be a little bit different, but the department number and number are different. Now, this number is going to associate with this number because they have to relate to each other because they are the key. And they're associated with each other through this controls. Speaking of the controls, we have this related to our project. And this is because we have a one-to-many relationship. The many goes with the project. And then the controls is a total participation going to the project. So we have our department number that it's associated with. And then we have our controls right here. So that's how we would look at that. Next, we have our works on, hours, and then the ESSN and the P number. So if we look at works on right here, we have hours, and the reason why works on is its own separate entity is because we have a many-to-many -many relationship. That's when that would come out. 
We have our hours, ESSN and P number. So hours is just an attribute of this here. Our ESSN is because works on has to relate to our employee because it goes here. So it relates to our SSN, the employee SSN. And then the project, it has to relate to the project number, hence the P number here. Next we have a dependent. And so the dependent down here is gonna be a weak entity. We have the name, we have the sex, we have the birth date, and then we have relationship. So we're gonna put all these in here. Now the dependent is gonna be a dependent of our employee. Since this is a week, we're not really gonna be looking at this, but this is going to have to relate to the employee SSN because this dependent needs to relate to the key of this. So that's why you're going to include this right here. And that is going to be how we would solve this, how we would write this out. This is just one example. And really, it would look something like this. So we have our first name, middle initial, last name, and so on and so forth for employee. And then we have department, locations, the project, works on, and dependent. Note how we have all these arrows going around to the from the foreign keys to the primary keys. And so that is how we would look at and solve for this problem. The notes for this, if you want to look over it more, are in the playlist, or actually they're in the description with the Google Docs. That's where this is. And you can find more videos on this topic in the playlist linked below the like button.